That was a tough climb. Whew. 800 meters of roots and rocks. Uh, two and a half hours almost of pretty much no stop, relentless up roots and rocks and then bog. Took longer than expected to get out of the forest, but and we are now out or well, I out on the tops. So I'm guessing maybe another hour to the hut along the ridge line and back down into the valley. So, made it to the hut. I was a little worried at the start because the dock sign said be four and a half hours. But got there three hours fifteen, so pretty chuffed with that. There is nowhere to camp though. And it's all really boggy around the, uh, the camp, around the hut. So, I just took a walk up behind the hut because I'd heard there's a campsite up here, but not seen anywhere here either. It's just a good source of water though, so I might come back here to fill up the water bottle later. I'm going to go back down to the hut and try and find somewhere else to camp. Back at the hut. Slim pickings for camp spots. I think this is it. One of the remnants of a fire. It's going to have to do. So camp's uh, set up, just in front of the tent, uh, sorry, just in front of the hut that you can see behind me. And uh, just sitting down when to have some dinner and realised that I picked up the wrong packet of food. So I've got an Eden packet which is empty. Well, it's full of some rubbish, this is why it's got some weight. But that means no dinner, so that means breakfast for dinner and it's going to be slim pickings for breakfast in the morning. So I'm going to have to march out and get back to Murchison for some breakfast I think. Thankfully tomorrow should be I think a easier and shorter day than today. Although, if it's as boggy going out as it was getting here, it's going to be hard going. So, I think my stomach is going to be waking me up early doors, if not the light, and then heading out in search of food. Morning. Terrible night's sleep. Uh, a lot colder than I expected. Sleep bag was not warm enough. Even with all my clothes on. Uh, toes going numb and it was too cold. So I ended up having to quit the tent about halfway through the night and move into the hut. Which is still pretty cold but maybe a degree or two warmer. And because it wasn't sloped like my uh, tent pitch, I'm more comfortable. Breakfast done, it was pretty quick and easy because I had most of my breakfast for dinner last night because I forgot my dinner. So now it's about 7am, just packed up the scent and heading out along the uh, stream track. And blue skies are trying to peek through, so hopefully no rain. Two hours in, not even 4K. 
thought I would have uh, possibly even finished the track by now. Still got another three or four to go. But um, I lost the track. I came out of the woods onto the river and couldn't find the track on the other side. Um, I know the track follows the river, so and the river goes downhill, obviously. So just knew I could follow the river. And that's what I've been doing. I was very happy when I found somebody had left some little cans, which meant it's a good indication I was on the right way, on the right track, and following the cans. And now, finally, where's he gone? There. A little orange triangle of dock. So I'm definitely on the right track. So time now for the last little bit of food. Christmas present. And hopefully that will power me on to the end of the track. See you soon.